good day, ma'am. This is the group 3 DNA model. So, uh, DNA, it means dioxyribonucleic acid, is a polymer component of two polynucleotide chains that coil around each other to form a double helix and carrying genetic instruction for the development, functioning, growth, and reproduction of all known organisms and many viruses. So the purpose of uh, DNA is must be con converted into messages that can be used to produce proteins which are the complex molecules that do most of the work in our bodies. So in our DNA model mom, so we have uh, it is made up of four building blocks called nucleotides. So as you can see here in the in our lichen, so this is the four um, building blocks that uh, nucle nucleotides. These are uh, ad ad thymine, adenine, cytosine, and guanine. So the first, I would like to uh, discuss about the phosphate. So in our lichen, this is the phosphate. So here in our DNA, this is of the phosphate. So the function of the phosphate is to provide structural support to the molecule and also it's important in activating proteins so that the proteins can perform particular functions in cells. So that is the function of phosphates. In our lichen also, this is what we call dioxyribosugar. So as you can see in our DNA, this is the dioxyribosugar. So here, the color blue and the pink. So the uh, actually, ma'am, uh, delicious same of color katungod kulang na ko og material so as you can see basta mo, mo na siya ang dioxyribo sugar so the function of the di dioxyribo sugar is the may i this is to assist the information of the phosphate backbone of dna molecules so in uh let discuss the four building blocks called nucleotides so first we discuss about guanine so the green one this is guanine in our dna this is guanine so it is a nitrogenous base that makes a part of the nucleotides in DNA and RNA. But that's not all. Nucleotides containing guanine can power chemical reactions are involved in signaling inside the cells. So, moto siya ang function sa guanine. Next is the cytosine, the yellow one. So, this is the cytosine. So, the cytosine is the essential role for this is to forming base pairs by bonding with guanine and forming the genetic code found in both DNA and RNA. Because of its chemical structure, cytosine represents a nucleotide base due to its ability to bond with guanine and its part of the sugar phosphate backbone of the DNA and RNA. And another building blocks of DNA is the adenine. So adenine is the color blue. Oh, as you can see in our DNA, it is the color blue. This, which is, this is the adenine. So, the RNA is the function of this is to binds to thymine, so the red one, via two hydrogen bonds to assess in stabilizing the nucleic acid structures. And also, the adenine is the one of the two purine nucleotides of the nucleic acid. So, and last but not the least is the thymine, the red one. So, this is the thymine. So the thymine is can help to stabilize nucleic acid structure. So um, in the nucleotides attached to each other, so ang um, adenine, um, adenine the color blue is with thymine, and then the guanine the color green is with um, cytosine. So to form chemical bonds called base pairs, which connect the two DNA strands. So, if ever we uh, replace, replace the thymine into the uracil, uh, this uh, structure is not what we call DNA. It is what we call RNA. So, as you can see, ma'am, yeah, we create our DNA model. So, we use a thymine um, bind. So, that's all, ma'am. Thank you.